Hey, it's John and Rachel, and this is the first edition of your Jag Off Late Night. Did late Night! Right? Yeah, we said that much yeah. right. Yeah. We look like reporters, there you go. So, <laughs> we didn't know what do you wear when you start a late night show, so this is it. And you can tell us what you think we should do, but we're thinking t-shirts from local places, right? right. Mancini's, Mancini's, I'm sporting the 412 Thrive, and uh, we're all about local. If by some chance you've not heard of us before, let us acquaint you with us. So we are John and Rachel, and we have a podcast that's been around for eight years. Yes. We have been on the radio here at Q92.9 for about a year and a half, and we do video about all kinds of things, funny things, serious things, Pittsburgh things. So we're here tonight to talk to you about Pittsburgh. And this is kind of an extension. If you've been following the podcast for a few years, you know, it's, it's just click on it, you listen to the audio. And sometimes we have a little video. Well, now it's all this video, thanks to Johnny and Monica for oh my throwing God. this all together. Yeah. All the little flashy and spinny things you get will be Johnny and Monica. But in the meantime, we'll stand here and tell you all these Pittsburgh stories. So this is our first episode of doing this. We will be here at 5000 McKnight Road every Friday night, 5.30ish or so, and get Ish. ready to go live at 10 o'clock <laughs> and uh, so we'll have guests we'll have a couple of guests all Pittsburgh good stories and again once again thanks to Q92.9 Steel City Media for hosting us we're so glad to be here so let's go we have always started every podcast by talking about our sponsors Rorick Automotive is actually sponsoring this we're so excited that just means they're going to talk a little bit about cars and a lot about how they are family owned and it's great because guess what it has something to do with Pittsburgh what else has to do with Pittsburgh Call 811 before. You yeah, dig. Right. Yeah, jag off. So, so. Right. thanks to People's Gas because they've been supportive of us for the last couple of years. And, you know, we've gone, you'll see tonight in one of the commercials, one of the things we did with Tony at Permantes, another Pittsburgh icon, who hopefully will be here in the studio at some point. But we appreciate them. And Dryer Vent Wizard. <laughs> well, we made a little silly thing. We went and did our dryer vents, which really wasn't the right thing to do. No, you're not supposed to vent about, like, right. John found a fingernail, not exaggerating. He found a... I can't talk about it. Watch the video. So just who's on our show tonight uh, is, uh, just start with the first one. Oh, my God. Greg. Br oh, the first one for yeah. me. I'm sorry. David Highfield. Like, <laughs> bow your head, genuflect. If you're Catholic, you get what I'm saying. I can't help it. David Highfield has been my absolute favorite person for I don't even know how long. He just truly embodies Pittsburgh, and I've emulated him I've tried, right? I don't know that I have, but he is just such a class act guy, a class act journalist, and he's our first guest. Heather would be here. She's under the weather. Love to Heather. We're going to have her on, which means David has to come on again. That's right. And then you have who? Because this is, honestly, I love him, but it's John's favorite. One of my favorite guests of all time, Greg Brown, the announcer for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And uh, he has, I love, I'm going to have him retell the story about the Pittsburgh Pirate thing, or the Parrot Pirate thing, because thing. it's my favorite story about the pirate parrot but we're also going to have these new things you know we merged the radio and the and the podcast together and now we've merged the radio and video and the podcast together so we're going to have these little short things over on the Jagoff blog every week we have a jeet jet and a where you at those what does that mean those have typically been where they're just pictures and little write-ups about where you at which is just tell me a little bit about your neighborhood your micro neighborhood not your big neighborhood and then jeet jet is did you eat yet? You know, of course, in Pittsburgh. If you have a lazy is. tongue, it happens. I don't say it. I say, did you eat yet? You don't. You I do. don't. I, and I so we're going to have little video clips because we have jag braggers out in the field taking these little videos. And tonight, we're going to see Cousin Lisa make her famous, her nunna's, or famous ravioli. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to get a little uh, tour of some cool things in Mount Lebanon with Tressa. Yeah, super excited. So do you want to introduce them? Should the jag braggers come on? Let's go real quick here before oh, we do that. What was on the blog? Listen, what was on the blog? This show. You're so yeah. sick of us talking about this show. You're probably just so glad it's here so that we stop talking about this show. But we did have one... You had a really good blog post. Yeah, it was this well, truck. Well, it was two. It was yeah, two. It was, it was truck. It, there's this truck. You know, we hate Peter Parkers, people that don't know how to park. And uh, you'll see this pickup truck right down the middle in the parking uh, lot. You know, it couldn't get any better. Then, I really wait, appreciate... Wait, wait, It wasn't really stairs? No, that was a different one. That was oh, a different well, one okay, than what we're showing on the graphic there. And, uh, and Rach, then, read the blog. And then we also uh, were started a thing called Time with Tony. It's my friend Tony who is 
you know, dealing with cancer, and but we're having a good time with it. So you have to go see us carry out. So. He's dealing with life, and John yeah. is putting that perspective on it. And it's been such an emotional journey, but people have been following along, and it's been an honor for me to actually watch mm -hmm. it happen. So. Listen, you're actually going to see some funny commercials here tonight. But before we do that, some really cool people. We have to get them up here. Our Jag Breggers, Tressa, dun, dun, Marcus, dun, 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 dun. We Michaela, need some kind of music. And, we need to remember and that this will be Monica's some behind kind the camera. She has to, yeah. Monica, you can throw your hand in front of the Where lens or something like that. So. Okay. There you go. Tressa, we, Tressa? we don't have time to talk. Hey. Tressa, Marcus, <laughs> Michaela, because I have to tell Rachel and Tressa there's no time to talk. It's he literally just said, yeah. Rachel and yeah. Tressa, there's so. no time to talk. So, <laughs> so, so, Monica also, but she's behind the camera because she does it all. These are our Jag Braggers. You saw Tressa this week. Monica did Cousin Lisa's, per I almost said pierogies again, ravioli. Marcus, where are we going to go next week for where you at? We are going to be at Marla's House at Ambridge, PA. Boom. Nice. We All are right, so excited dudes. to talk more about Beaver yes. County. So thank you so much for bringing Absolutely. that to our attention. All yeah. right. We love it. Bringing a lot Listen, of Beaver County. Our first guest tonight is David Highfield. I can't and wait, Rachel's you guys. already starting to sweat. I cried we, a little bit. We want to make sure you know, come to 5000 Big Night Road every Friday around 530. We'll have some snacks and cocktails. All right. You, you good? guys, we cannot wait. Thank you for joining us. You guys, we love you. Thanks for being here. Michaela, you. Marcus, Tressa. It's your Jag Off Late Night, you Jag. Stay with us. I've been thinking that Rorick Automotive needs a new jingle. Rorick Automotive got the best cars around Pittsburgh. Driving a Rorick, I bought it at Rorick. Picked up my new car at Rorick Automotive. I got friends at Rorick Automotive where the staff is nice and the dealership's loaded with brand new cars. And you can drive real far. Rach, I have to vent. Here's my dryer vent. This one time, I had a, found a Lee press-on nail in my dryer stuff and Mm. It was not mine. Vom in the throat, vom in the throat. Ugh. One time, my kids left Kleenexes from one of their worst whooping coughs in their pocket. Guys, 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 you guys are such jagoffs. That's not the type of dryer venting we're talking about. We professionally clean your dryer vent to increase your dry time and save you guys some money. For so four hours. Wet, like 10 pounds you wet. You jagoffs, you need to get your dryer vents clean. People used to celebrate hard work, the spirit of the underdog. You don't hear too much about those things anymore. The world needs more problem solvers. People who know results matter. Folks with brains and elbow grease. Our work runs through just about every office building in the city like a network of veins. It's not what you are that makes you a steam fitter. It's who you are. Rachel, you jag off late night. We're so excited to be here because it's not late at night, but it's late enough, right? Because midnight's too late for us. We are so excited because it's our first one, and who better to have on our very first episode than David Highfield? Let me tell you, quick down, quick trip, memory lane. You ready? We had David Highfield on one of my first podcasts at the Foundry. Here's my yes. favorite story of David Highfield. This is how I knew I loved him. We were recording, 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 asking him all these questions. The next thing you know, when we had someone with us at the time recording, he said, by the way, when it was all over, I didn't get any of David Highfield. And I had vomit in my throat. That was my interview. I, I did not harm the person, <laughs> but I was pretty upset. So yeah. what happened? Well, so uh, the good news is that one of our friends actually somehow had David's cell phone number. So we were sitting there eating after everybody was gone. And like, what do we do? You had already gone. You had already left to go to a hockey yeah, event. Yeah, that's right. I left. And yes. you called David and said, this is what happened. Can we please record this? And he was getting ready to go out of town or somewhere. Yes. Well. Yeah, and we ended up at your patio. And uh, there we were. We sat and re-recorded, tried to re-record the interview. You were so gracious to 
let us come oh, to your house that day. No, so we but, knew. We like, talked about it for like. Yeah. We still talk yeah. about it. Obviously. Well, no, but I felt like you know, as soon as I met you two, like we clicked. We did. Like I totally. Yeah, I was like, because I remember telling my husband, like we were getting ready to go, and I was like, oh no, they're coming over. To, didn't you already do that? Well, yeah, there was a technical problem or whatever. This thing. And he was kind of like, are you sure you want these two in the house? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, 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 you don't understand. I love and Rachel was our, my new tennis partner. Or, yes. Or right. Right. Yeah. Right. You can't figure it, it still doesn't happen. We haven't figured it out because I'm not good at tennis. So when I'm not good at something, I push it off. And I talk a good game to buy myself time to learn it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm learning tennis so right, that well, I can that's play. Good to know. Well, then, then we're going to be opponents for sure. For sure. Uh, now that I know your tennis skill level. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but Heather's competitive too. So we said, like, how do we break this up? But I don't know. Does she play? Not, I'm never, I'm not aware that she's ever played tennis. Yeah. Okay. But she's super competitive. She is, yeah. I will tell you, whatever Heather Abraham wants to do, she does. She wants yeah. to win at, yes. at what she's doing. Yeah. Like, like when we do the Dr. Lori segments, like, yes. if you guys are not familiar with the Dr. Lori segments, like, Dr. Lori is an antiques expert, and, and we get to guess what something is worth. She sort of presents it, and we ask questions. Heather wants to win. Like, right. it is serious. Like, yeah. we laugh and everything, but, like, if she doesn't win that day, like, you you can tell. Right. <laughs> yeah. But do you let her ever, or are you like, oh, for God's sake, just win? No, actually, yeah. no, I don't. Yeah. Like, right. it's a true competition. <laughs> right. Because I because I take great joy in winning. Right. Because it's hard. <laughs> like, you think you know what you're doing, and all I really do is I keep asking, is it made of oak? Like, that's my go-to. Oh, question. is that right? <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm in a jam and David, nothing else to ask. <laughs> What Monica? if it's like is not it oak related? Like I'm at all? Did you just say it's it? Like that your is. Joke now. Oh my is god. Is it made of oak? That is hysterical. That's Steve Rohan's. Question. That is. Yes. Yeah. That is right. so funny. So, so the other thing I was going to say is. Good. Do it. Go ahead. David is known for certain things, and I love the fact that we've sung, sang, sung Rick Astley with you before. Yes. Like, I'm never gonna give you. Um, I won't do it. I won't do it. Oh, okay. Can you not do it but on the because radio, we do it. Well, we can't. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. It would be a parody oh. if we sang it, though. That's for sure. Would that's anyone recognize? Yeah, see, that's the thing. Rick, Rick Astley could not sue us because no one would recognize the song. <laughs> That is so true. But we have been, in case people don't know, PTL has been so gracious for, what, four years now that we do a fun um, game show every year for charities. We all do yeah. it. And last, well, one of the first years, we made them sing. Well, this year, we were like, how do we incorporate some kind of, like, name that tune with The Price is Right? So we have to, like, combine. Are you in? I'm ready for it. Yeah. I, yeah, whatever. I'm what, ready for it. Yeah. And that was the other thing is Ron Smiley was extremely competitive in cheating. As yes. you remember, well, Ron, he was, but it was okay because he cheated and then his cheating actually got you guys to lose the game. Exactly. He yes. got too pompous. The cheating backfired. Yeah. So it that's really what did. children right. should walk away learning from this. Cheating never pays. That's right. Crime does look not get the, you ahead. You learn. Now, David, let's move on to something, you know, when we have a band member on, they, we always tell them, shout out the rest of the band members, right? Like, shout out the drummer. So you're David Highfield. There's another person on this show named Heather, Heather. Abraham. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Perhaps you've heard of her. Yeah. Yes. Perhaps. <laughs> so let's talk about that, like the whole team of PTL. You have Teddy, you have Krista. Right. Like, you know, we're sitting here looking at all these people hanging out with us tonight. And you saw the craziness that we were doing. We don't have a Teddy and a Krista. We have a Johnny and a Monica. But talk about how that whole team gels. I, we're really lucky because, like, honestly, it's, it feels like a family. Like, recently we were we did this uh, kickoff to the Turkey Fund. Right. And so we were on the Gateway Clipper. We take yes. this cruise, and so 250 fans, people who watch the show, have bought tickets. It all benefits the Turkey Fund. And, and it's the one of the times that the entire crew is together. So Teddy and Krista behind the scenes, and you know Ron Smiley is one of the best people to work with. He's ever. so great. Yes. He's so super talented. Yes. Mikey Hood is amazing. Selena Pompiani is so genuine. Like no people, one like her. People think like, oh, is, she, is that like put on all her enthusiasm? No, she's truly enthusiastic and curious about everything, and it's infectious. You know, and Daisy Jade is wonderful to work with. And then our two new people that, yes. that we yeah. had on, Boaz and Katie, like. Boaz Frankel and Katie O'Malley, they both, like, it does feel like a family. Like, we care about each other. And and I think people yes. could tell yes. if you didn't. Yes. Yeah. And I, I really I think too. if you were faking your way through it, like, our kind of show, yes. like, we're talking, like, we talk for real. 
Yeah. And, and it, you know, much like you guys, like, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, do you ever have to go on a show when you're fighting? Oh. You don't know. <laughs> oh, well, you know, what? Tracy, you, you know. are a pain look, in my look, It's Sean and Rachel. You turn up What's on funny you. is Tracy and Monica would typically go to the podcast with us, and they would be in the back seat. Yes. And it's like the real show is the drive to the podcast. Because John is <laughs> road rage. There is so much road rage, oh. and nobody believes it because he's such a nice guy. And Rachel oh, is so always nice. Rachel is always late. Always so, late. I'm itch. So it's always like, yeah. okay, what you are we going to argue time. about? Here? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Exactly right. Yeah, so, he knows his role. But Monica and Tracy will always tell you that's the real show, but we have not gone to that yet. We have no. Not, we, we haven't been that desperate to publish those videos. It's yet. too bad. Yeah, <laughs> it is so bad for sure. But I yeah, mean, but I, you're right. It's a you family. Have, you just have to be honest. Yeah. I think, really. I mean, and 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 people would detect it. If it if I you agree. Yeah. yeah. And we're just I so think lucky that's the that beauty we, of Pittsburgh. We love each other. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah I think and, you know that's that's exactly what everybody sees. All right. So. You get up really early in the morning. You have a couple of partners and everything like this. You know, you come in. You have Jessica and the dressing John together. And I'm so stuff. impressed. Right? And oh. you know, you're, yeah. Well, so just talk. Like, what's your routine? You know, not that we're being okay. creepy and people want to wait outside the door for you to walk in. But what is your routine? Oh, yeah, in the that's morning? a good question. Now We've you're never planning asked. things in my head that people are going to be waiting. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, I get up at uh, I get up at two. Oh but my, my alarm God. actually rings at 1.45. Oh and that's when Marvin enters the room. The cat, So right? Marvin, my cat, will jump up on my chest, and he knows it's time to get up. He knows it's either his late night snack or his breakfast. I don't know how he views it. But he's literally on my chest, and he'll pat one side and then pat the other side. He alternates until I wake up. So, like, I don't think I'll ever be late for the morning news because Marvin is a hungry cat. Uh, and so Marvin just keeps it up until... David, I never thought of that. That if you have an animal and you work that kind of shift, they have to get you... It's not a typical, oh, it's dinner time at 5 p.m. Like, that's not the sitch. Wow. Yeah. And so, he got used to it. So he, Yeah, so he goes downstairs, and then I go get a shower and get ready, and then I, I go back into the bedroom. He has taken my position on the bed. He is sleeping on my pillow next to Gary. Like, that is, like as soon as I'm out of there, like, See, something yeah. happens to me, yeah. he's he's there. Yeah, like, yeah. He's gonna as a matter of fact, you might have to watch. He might cause that because he <laughs> oh, wants your oh, spot. John. Yes, yeah. I get, I get tripped going down the steps. <laughs> yeah. You oh. launch an investigation right. into Mr. Marvin. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Who did it? Marvin did That's it. so funny. Yes. But I am exceptionally interested in seeing when I turn, because I do watch KDK every morning, as you know. When I see how well you and Lindsay and Ron and John Shumway, I'm like, what in the heck? I can't even wear the right socks. Oh, like, I have a on. navy one you and a black look one. Together. You <laughs> always swear, look good. I don't. I'm no, no. I'm so low maintenance. Honest to goodness. No, you you always like. You're so cute. Look yeah, at all. No, you look fantastic. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. No, I, you know what? It, it started as just something where Lindsay and I were going to wear the same color a couple yeah. days. And then one, the one day her boss came in and was like, that was great. I loved how you two matched. And then the, his boss came in and was like, the same day, hey, you two matching, that was great. You got to keep that up. So it became a thing. And then eventually Ron said, like, oh, I want in on this. And then John was like, well, don't leave me out. Right. So then the next thing, you know, and now Erica's on board too. So Lindsay will send us a text message the night before. She not only tells you the color, she sa- she asks if it's okay. And then, she, and then she'll send a picture of said item. Because, like, if you just hear a color, sure, like blue, it's what you yeah. interpret. You don't yeah, yeah, know. yeah. So, like, right. I'm there with like my. I have three drawers of ties, and I pull out ties trying to match the picture. And in the go, dark, because well, know. no, I do it the night before. Okay, no, I do it the night before. Okay, most okay. of the time. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, I do it the night before. But what what is funny about it is like we work so hard like to inform people and tell them the news. People in the grocery stores are talking to me about like you guys. I love that you guys match. You're all one team, you know. And and I won't say who, but there is another channel now uh-huh. that I have noticed mm-hmm. on a particular newscast same. Same. where they are starting to do the same thing. And you know, I guess. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. You go. I think we need to ask Rachel from your investigative reporter side is how does she know it's the same? She's noticed it because she said she always watches Katie. Katie oh, John, good question. Because I saw Get it. Andy Sheehan on that. Yeah. Andy yes. yes. That'll so right go to now. the top of Andy's David, list. Let me show you. Things to investigate. <laughs> now, David, uh, <laughs> behind the scenes, behind the scenes, like literally, this show does not come off without Johnny and Monica and Tracy yeah. and all the people. Yours is the same, Teddy, Krista. 
it's, it's amazing. There's an army of people, and there's technical people that do jobs that have become so much more complicated over the years because of technology. Yes. I have no clue. Like, what I learned in college, totally not useful. And then they wouldn't even let me touch things in college. Yeah. Like, whole shows would melt down when I was working behind the scenes. <laughs> that's why you have people, because they're so much better. And you, it's that's why it's important to recognize the people who are with you, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Do you agree? I agree. Because I, agree. I couldn't do any of that. I'm just learning to look at the We're clock. We're looking at clocks now. We need now. the question oh. of the day answered first of all. Oh, oh okay. We have a question of the day. Oh, okay. What's one. the question right. of the day? Here we go. And then I want to see what's in your bag. What okay. yins or phrase is more you to say in that or yins? Oh, yins. Yeah. Are you a yins okay. or? I think I say yins more often. All right. All I think right. I say I, I will use that in in okay. terminology. I like to think that I've never said in that. John says I have, but I don't think, or g -jet, I don't do that. Yeah. I have not. No, I don't think, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I say it. Inat. I don't know. Don't it's, you know, we're so used to it. I, you, you could say it, it and I wouldn't know Yeah, that's true. We have like lazy I, tongues as Pittsburghers, for sure. Yeah. We don't even realize it. Ne yeah, your car needs, we don't say yeah. to be, right. needs washed. And my yeah. spell check is constantly putting in a two. <laughs> to put in a two <laughs> be. Right. David, now right. we, we have a whole thing, everybody, where we're going to say what every all of our guests from now on have to bring something for our junk drawer. We actually have a cubicle here at Q929 that we never use, but there's an empty drawer there. So we said, what's it called? What's it called? It's called the odds are the odds and ends odds are drawer. It's the junk drawer. So odds are is a betting app that it's actually not a betting app. It's a better betting app, and they are the sponsor of our drawer. They want to So you need to go to odds the letter R dot com and go download that because you'll make better bets. In the meantime, David, what did you bring for our junk drawer? What's in our junk drawer? Oh, oh it's so pretty. It's so well, pretty. you know what? You know, you're the cutest thing. I can't I've ever disappoint seen. my fellow gays. You would if I'm never... gonna bring something, it's gotta be wrapped with oh, a glitzy ribbon. Oh ribbon. my gosh! You never have junk reveal, in a junk drawer. Reveal. Oh my god, reveal. I'm taking forever, right? Oh, 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 you! I <laughs> Yes! A well wrapped <laughs> Scotch tape roll. Yes. Yes. Well, see, this David. is what I thought we could each pick. Thank you for which being character we are. Yeah. There you go. Oh, don't get me started on a theme song. You know how I love my theme songs. David, it is. Who would you pick? I would pick Dorothy, but now you guys need to pick. All right, so I definitely love Dorothy. She was always one of my favorites. Well, so maybe you should have... pick Dorothy then. No, 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 you're our guest. I have to go with the wonderful Betty White. I'll, I'll oh, go with Rose, Rose. and Island. Okay, yeah. Rose. That leaves John with John, Blanche, Blanche or Sophia. Blanche or Sophia? Oh. Do you know their characters? You're not I a Blanche. I do know their characters. You're I not a Blanche. You no, know, I'm not. You tell me who I am. Tell Sophia, me who I am. because we already picked the others. All right, all so right. You're good. All right. <laughs> Wait. David Highfield. I love it. You David. are Sophia. You're the, you that's your very first items in our junk drawer. I am this honored. I'm yes. honored to be the first guest. I'm oh so excited goodness. for your success. Thank you. Like, Thank I, you. I, you know, really, you guys bring people together, celebrate Pittsburgh, and 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 make everybody laugh and smile at the same time. David. And so I'm just honored to be here and, and honored to call you guys my friends. You're so amazing. We Where does everybody you? find you online? Oh, oh at also Pittsburgh Today Pittsburgh, Live everywhere, right? PittsburghTodayLive.com, <laughs> yes. And of course, watch us on KDK. Watch us on KDK okay. Plus now. Okay. We're streaming on CBS News Pittsburgh. We're on Facebook. We're on whatever Twitter's being called this week. We're everywhere. Nice. Yes. We love and, it. And uh, you know what's coming up next? Is a G Jet. Is that right? Did I get that right? G Jet. G -jet. It's a no, G Jet. You? You're going to see Cousin Lisa. And Monica next. Thanks for being with us on your Jug Up Late Night. Mancini's Bakery, 97 years in business and still getting better. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. That's where you will see various Pittsburgh personalities like Gretchen McKay, Super Bowl MVP Santonio Holmes, KDKA's own Mary Hours, and WPXI's Jenna Harner, learning how to make the famous Italian twist bread. Follow Mancini Bakery on Instagram and Facebook, and remember to ask for Mancini's. Welcome to Flamini. Can I take your order? You need a tap it? No, we don't use this. We, we know how to yell the sandwich to the, the cook. Here we go. Let's dig in. It's John and Rachel. We love to dig into iconic Pittsburgh places like Primanis. So we brought our friends from People's Gas. Please call at least three business days before you dig. It doesn't matter if it's a big project or something small like a mailbox. Always call before you dig. I called. We can dig in. So please call 811 three business days before excavating so you don't have to call 911.
It's Monica on our way to make ravioli with cousin Lisa. You've probably heard of her. John's used her bathroom. Probably Rachel too. <laughs> all right, so we're all inside right. and we're going to make ravioli. So Lisa, tell me all about this ravioli process. How do we start? What's going on here? My grandma always taught us for each person, it's one cup of flour. Oh, wow. But since you're Italian, you always put an extra cup in just because you don't know who's coming to... So then in your family, does it have one of those things where you guys have written ingredients, written recipes out? or is Oh, just, no, no. Okay, you yeah. Listen, People just know. You just know. Like, you're in the family long enough that you know. Like, you have to graduate into knowing things. <laughs> like, Jesus bobblehead Jesus comes into play with this. <laughs> Tell me that backstory real quick. But now you know the recipe, so I don't know. You might be locked in. <laughs> We're like, Rachel, I have become the chosen. Right? <laughs> Listen. She's going to be crying in the car with John. <laughs> Hey, it's uh, Jag Off Late Night, and I hope you enjoyed the first Where You At at Cousin Lisa's house with Monica making the ravioli. The big thing about the ravioli is the Jesus that goes on the, Do you the, love the that? table, right? Did you know that That's she did that? No, I didn't know. Yeah, Cousin Lisa helps come to my house for my mom and I to do our ravioli because we have the same recipe. However, Cousin Lisa's are always pretty, mine not so much. But we learned from our Italian grandmothers that it is not what they look like, but you do them how you are. So if you're a small thing, you're going to make them small. Make sure you go watch the whole video over on the Jagoff blog. All right, Jagoff.com. Greg Brown is here, ladies and gentlemen. He just wanted to cut to the chase. Uh, well, I want to give Greg Brown his proper due because you took the time on your, this is your months off, not your day off, but your months off, I would assume. And you came here and you're one of our favorite guests and we couldn't wait for you to be no, our Rachel, did you person. hear that, by the way? I that disclaimer? It. I mean, do you Did feel... you hear the disclaimer, by the yes. way? Yes. Wait. What did he say just now? You are one of. One of. Yeah. Well, because I have to take Rachel's feelings into consideration. But he's one of mine. When I picked you, I'm, when one, I'm I picked one of you, Rachel's too. Yeah. Well, okay. When I picked you as my favorite, she goes, "Whoa, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wait you know, a minute." Kind of thing. Yeah, well, so anyway, congratulations countries. and thank you. I'm thrilled to be here on your inaugural show. Yeah. Um, are you couldn't kidding? be happier. Oh, well, well can I, I tell you something though? Your voice. Is there something to kid about? <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm so serious. inadequate right now. Like David Highfield's phenomenal. Like he knows how to do. But like that's the voice. Yeah, and that we're, is the voice. We sound like probably awful right now. Well, no, actually, you guys know how to do the announcer voice. Oh, okay. You've done it. You've done it so long. I don't know. Okay. So off mic, you guys sound way different. Okay. Cool. Oh, okay. You don't even do it intentionally, but okay. you do. You project. Okay. You enunciate. We'll By take way, it. Thank you so much for the great when you introduced me. The uh, the reaction of the crowd was <sighs> really special. Oh, <laughs> did you get a, so did you get a standing ovation from the 3,021 uh, people that are here? That's I did. our attendance tonight. 3,021. Well, that's exactly right. I, yeah, yeah, I counted 22, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, the, the people were tremendous, and I got a chance to chat with them, and this is this is really neat. So Greg Brown, you. refresh my memory. How long have you been the Pirates announcer? Uh, I just finished thirty years, Rachel. Thirty. Yeah. Oh my wow. God. Believe it or not. Yeah. You look wonderful. Well, you do too. Well, Thanks thank for saying you. that. I appreciate uh, that, nice. but I, I don't like the question. Yeah. When people ask me that, <laughs> I'm sure it only means I, I go thirty. It's impossible to believe it's... for me, just because. I thought, you know, 30 years ago, if someone said you'd be doing this for 30 years, I'd be going, yeah. you're on your mind. No chance. Of course, how long you guys been doing Well, Chicago? not as long as people think, but it has been seven, eight years. Seven, yeah. Okay, that's a long yeah. time. It is a long time for podcast life, but it's interesting that you say that because 30 years, people don't typically stay, you know, statistically at their jobs that long. Anymore. It's a new world. And so the fact that you are so married to the craft you you enjoy it i mean to, it seems that way david just talked about ptl is like a family what they do is very like they they have it in their bones is that how you feel still oh yeah yeah you, you know I, I don't think we would do it especially and i don't mean to disrespect if anybody's not going to disrespect the team it's me sure um, we know that but especially you know for most of the 30 years the team has not won so yeah, sure. i must love it to keep doing it yes yeah. sure. and i do and uh, every day is a challenge every year is a challenge every team is different players are different get to meet so many great people and I've realized over the years too that uh, it is important for fans this what we do I'm yeah. not saying I'm important I'm saying what we do yes. the business correct to broadcast these games to present these games on radio and television it's important to people there is still an incredible passion for Pirates baseball I think we were second or third this year in uh, ratings across Major League Baseball. Really? And we've been a top 10 for radio and TV for years. 
and and the reason is I was just gonna there's say, a what passion for Pirates baseball around this town. We saw it when they had the 13, 14, yes, right. 15 runs. Um, it, it's uh, they, they they care, and it's a great sports town. Of course, we know that all the teams. Sure. And, and the Pirates are one of the great teams in town. And and uh, when they win, they're they're on board. And even when they're not winning, they're listening and watching. And then a lot of them yeah. came out. We had a great uh, increase in attendance this year too. Well, I remember when you were testing the passion because people were. You said I'm going to buy everybody a beer that shows up at the the bar down there in the North Shore, right? I did. You, were you there that yeah, night? Well, well I, we walked through that yes. night and just oh. happened to see you there. That's one of our that favorite stories. That showed the passion that people had and that you had to represent the team, which that was, was on, really that was super on, cool. You know, as you guys know, Twitter or X now or social yeah. media can I, be a good thing, can be yeah. a dangerous, awful thing, right? awful place. For sure. Um, it, I guess it's, you have to navigate the waters, but uh, that was an argument that I had with a fan uh, and it just kind of it ended up being a situation where I said gather your friends and we'll have a debate and I'll buy you all beers because they were saying things that I said those are untruths but let's bring it out on the table right. and I there's a bar on the north side you guys were, were there that night yeah. but, but I had invited them and I don't know how many people showed up when all was said and done. You had a said, great crowd. There was a really good crowd I said I'm buying I said, there's the bar, and I said, the only rule is there will be no recordings of this, and if you guys leave this bar and you go public with the stuff that I've said to you, because this is kind of an inside stuff, yes. I'm going to say you're lying, I'll deny it every step of the way. And it was really it was a great night of debating. And again, it goes back to just the passion that everybody yeah. has with, with sports and But it goes and back to you're entitled to an opinion. Everybody that's has an exactly opinion, right? right? But right you're, you said it. It's the facts. If Don't say something that's untrue because it's going to come back to you. If you want to say, I feel this way, that's one thing. But to dispute it. Right. Now, the question I have is then, when they when they left, did you, did you leave feeling like you accomplished something? No. no. Okay. <laughs> okay, no, fair. I felt worse. Fair. Oh, boy. That's the truth. That's okay, fair. Bad. Okay. Oh my God! Uh, everybody left them like, "Wow, what a waste of money and time!" Like, <laughs> How many beers did they have? <laughs> <laughs> they gave me the bill. I said, "Oh my goodness, what have I done?" Uh, it wasn't all that bad. I, in fact, I, I kind of stayed in touch with a couple of them along the way. And uh, the, the bottom line was, it was just end up being. I get. I think when I went into it, I thought I was going to change minds, and how yeah. silly that is. But we don't change minds, but we should be open to debate, as you said, Rachel. Be yeah. open to debate and, and and talk about it, and still stay friends. It's like politics. Sure. Yeah. I grew up in a political family, and uh, and I still to this day don't understand why you can't debate. Just My father's best friends, I'll never forget it, were the were politically opposed to him all the time. Those were his dearest friends. And so my dearest friends are politically opposed to my way of thinking. And so um, to expand upon that, now sports, my goodness, we shouldn't get so wrapped up in sports that we can't be friends after we debate. And so we, we still are. I think people don't necessarily agree with my way of thinking, but, but that's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay to agree to disagree. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah it's, and it's great to just have a beer over that and chuckle about each other's kids. That, and that, by the way, that's what sports is all about, yeah, too, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Sports exactly. is all about the past. To get away from the seriousness of the world. Right. So. It's an escape. That's Greg, exactly uh, right. we've asked you this question before uh, earlier on the podcast, but I'd love for you, for this new audience, maybe it's a new audience, I don't know, talk about you You wanted to be the pirate parrot. And it did not work out very well, but obviously my life worked this. out well since then. i got to tell you guys, now we don't have enough time, but I hope you'll have me back on a, on a long podcast. Okay. Everybody heard that. This is no lie. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is, had nothing to do with you guys. Okay. Um, but I was... Uh, I, I do a um, subscribe to a thing called newspapers.com. Okay. Same. You, you're on that? Yes. What a resource. Absolutely. Holy cow. You go down rabbit holes like Absolutely. you Absolutely, yeah. I was with a friend whose father grew up in Connellsville and, and he was telling me about what his father did for a living and so one night the other this the other day I'm on newspapers.com the Connellsville Courier and I'm looking up all this stuff my dad was from Connellsville and I'm going down this rabbit hole and I put this guy's name anyhow the point of the story is I stumble across an article I've never read until the other night it was from uh, I think the, uh, the Associated Press and the, the person that wrote it is a Pittsburgh writer named Paula Smith, P-O-H-L-A, longtime writer, Paula Smith. And the story was about the Pirate Parrot auditions. She was there in the visiting clubhouse. 
and I'm like reliving this moment like it was yesterday. She's going through the na- some of the names. She quotes me in this thing. Stop it. It's unbelievable. She talked about this young kid from Harrisburg who took a bus 200 miles away, and then she names me, and she says something that I said in the interview. She describes what happened in the audition. Oh it's my god. Now, did it all come back to you then? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. It was unbelievable. So, at some point, I gotta go through this, but that's the, the short and long version of. The, yeah, that, that's how I end up getting the gig. Is that I tried out for the Pirate oh, Parrot. Man. I didn't, and the, it's funny because this article, this column, explains it all. How the judges, there were like five judges, she being one of them, that were so distraught because it had come down to two or three, including me. Wow. And they didn't know what to do. They didn't want to say no, and they ended up saying no to me. Uh, I came in second. I told people. Oh, the that's the up, worst. Uh, I'd rather. The worst. Yes. Right. The runner-up to right. the Pirate Parrot. Now, when we are done with your career with the Pirates, we might be looking for a mascot. So if you want to come in an audition... Well, why do, do I have to wait till I'm done with the... I right. love... Well, if you yeah. Could, if you could, in wait fact, I would, I'm not kidding you here. Okay. I know you guys have gotten big, but I would love to help be part of the creative team to help with the mascot oh God, because I got to know the woman, Susan McLean Moore. I used to know... I used to go to New York and she to Pittsburgh to go over the design of the what? pirate parrot uniform. No way. She worked with the Muppets. Wow. You know, that name sounded so familiar. Susan McLean Moore. Wow. Now, that's been forever, of course, sure. but I, I, when I first started out, part of, my, part of my job was, as the backup parent, was <laughs> to help with the and I did I did some oh some stuff God. I was actually in costume yeah and people the pirates still get crazy about me because I'm always like during a game between innings I'm looking down at the parrot and I'll say something off mic like so he shouldn't be doing that and they'll say would you watch the game <laughs> You're that is <laughs> so funny. So anyway. Well, so that's so passion, is, yeah. though. Yeah, right, that's so passion. we don't have to wait then. We'll have you do a jumping jack as we close the segment tonight. Yeah. Fantastic. Or, what or would our mascot but before you, hey, give, me, give me a couple of minutes because before we do, you, you close the segment. Yeah. Give me a couple of minutes leeway because I have something for the... Okay. Uh, okay. We'll All right. start it now. And I got a surprise yeah. at the end, too, at the well, very end. Do right. we want to do a question of the day first? Yeah, the am am okay. I the last guest? No, no, no. No, we have one more musician. Oh, <laughs> you want to be the headliner? I love <laughs> No, 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 no. I have nothing to do with that. I just want to be the last. We told all of them they're the headliners. Yeah. So the question of the day is... <laughs> Wait a minute. That's why I'm here. <laughs> the question my lawyer is, He thought he was getting headliner pay. Yes. He's right. like, it's just meatballs from Papa Jay. It is. Yes. And, and you will take them yes. as, as gold. Oh. So the question of the day is, as a Pittsburgher, do you find yourself saying Inat or Yins more? If you had to choose one of them, you can't uh, say neither. Yins, yins, okay. uh, and okay. I, I do it uh, in an affectionately mocking way. Okay, uh, same. As, as to jag off. With yes. Me. Um, yes. But, but you yeah, know, but, it's a term of endearment. But right? I don't do yins. Oh yeah, yeah of course I know. Okay. I do, yeah. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, I, I do yins more than. Uh, me too. Yeah. And I'll even uh, tweet that. I'll say something about yes. yins. Yins. Yins are great. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. in fact, I said it. Um, oh heck. Oh, David Bednar had a big save uh, late in the year. Pittsburgher, David yes. Bednar. Oh, we know. Pirates closer. Yes. And um, something, they have a big save. I might have been against the Phillies. And I said on the air, that's a Yinzer for you. Right. And so. We said the same thing. Yeah, we, yeah. Thought we had the honor of interviewing him. Same okay, thing. Okay, well, you know. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. What do you want to so know? Now we need to know, what did you bring for our jump? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I, had a couple th- I, I had a couple of thoughts. Because we, you know us, we let you know like 10 days ago to think about no, this, you didn't. right? It was yesterday. <laughs> actually, it was last <laughs> night at midnight. <laughs> actually, it was to be today. honest with you, it, honestly, it was today. It was today like a half hour ago. And I'm running. So you stole something from somebody's yeah, desk uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> I stole it. You'll know. They right. won't Marcy, know. Marcy, I took your pen. The one is a political button, but I won't get into the political. I'll, okay. I'll shoot okay. it off here. But the All other right. one is this is something. I thought, you know, this. It, whenever they open this up, whenever they. What, when are you guys going to close this up and put it underground? Uh, like time capsule? Oh, yes. no, we're just going to open the drawer every so, once in a while and remind ourselves of every guest. Okay. Just the junk drawer like that. in your kitchen. So this way you'll know who it is because my name is on it. Okay. It's a Pirates, official Pirates luggage tag. 
John's going to take it home oh because my, it has your I'm, name I'm, on it. I'm about to cry giving it to you. Yeah, oh my, I'm about to cry receiving I it, see to be that. honest yes, with yes. you. Look what's happening Look here. This. Yeah. I don't know, where yeah. do we show this right yeah, here? Yeah, how about that? Oh, Johnny's like, good job. Pittsburgh yeah, Pirates right. luggage tag. I love that you have that. In my this family, so we cool. used to have drawer gifts, which meant my brother, if it was a holiday, he would go to the drawer and wrap it up for us. So this is Oh, that's great. Like I said, like so you open up the drawer, right away you'll you'll know who it is. I love it. It's not just a paper clip. Greg Brown, we adore you. Please tell us, where can everybody find you? Should I tell you what I had planned, by the way? Yeah. I guess I could still do it. You can do it. You can still do it. Since this was the inaugural show. Yeah. 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 I was going to do it. Do it. Should I do it? Do it. Do it. Do it. Because you, you got to do another. Do it. Yes. No, that's all right. You, you don't mind? You have we, another no, guest. We don't mind. We're we don't mind. Hey! <laughs> 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 I'll take it because it's Greg Brown. Look at Jackie. <laughs> Those are real Yenzers right there. We took it. <laughs> And that, it can oh, only get and better. And I'm a off for doing this, but I don't care. <laughs> Greg Brown, one of our absolute favorites. We're going to our segment, Where You At, where you're going to see Tressa from Yens Are Good. She goes to Mount Lebanon, and she talks all about the great places there. Greg Brown, thank you so much for joining us. Stay with us on your Jag Off Late Night. That's Dude, that was hysterical. We got to Hey all, it is Jay here at Rorick Mazda. So for uh, many of you that might have got, I don't know, glasses or contacts and just don't quite remember this very cute face, two dead giveaways. You know, just look for the bow tie or look for me carrying the Starbucks. Many of you have got to share some coffee with me. I just wanted to kind of reintroduce myself, but more importantly, express my gratitude. October has always been a big month of gratitude for me personally on a way that I can thank all of my customers throughout the years. Anything that you would like me to address, whether it be with your current vehicle, a future vehicle, I'm always, always here to help. And I think that is the key differentiator. Yes. Mainly this video is just to wrap up to let you know this face is still here to help. So if you need anything at all, I'm a phone call, an email, or a text message away, guys. It's always a pleasure catching up with you. And I really look forward to kind of doing this throughout the future to stay in touch with you all. heard of Roy Goods. It is well known. Not only is it housewares, hardware, you can get snacks. That's right, snacks. You can get clothes. You can get, they're setting up for Christmas right now. It's amazing in here. It's a huge space. We love it. But also, if you're walking around Mount Lebo and you have your dog with you, this is one of their favorite spots. Our dog Hazel is accompanying me inside. Wait till you see. People used to celebrate hard work, the spirit of the underdog. You don't hear too much about those things anymore. The world needs more problem solvers, people who know results matter, folks with brains and elbow grease. Our work runs through just about every office building in the city like a network of veins. It's not what you are that makes you a steam fitter. It's who you are. I've been thinking that Rorick Automotive needs a new jingle. Rorick Automotive got the best cars around Pittsburgh. Driving a Rorick, I bought it at Rorick. Picked up my new car at Rorick Automotive. I got friends at Rorick Automotive where the staff is nice and the dealership's loaded with brand new cars. And you can drive real far. Everybody, Scott Taddy, Beaver County Times, 412 the news. It's Taylor Swift weekend. Taylor Swift weekend. Are you ready for it? You got to get out and see the show. It's a three hour movie, so it's shorter than a regular concert. Don't forget your friendship bracelet. There are theaters like the Lindsay and Swickley. You're going to have friendship bracelet stations. Take a bracelet, give a bracelet. You can stand and dance and sing during the movie. Taylor's cool with that. But if you're going to do that, do it in the back of the theater for people like me who can't stand for three hours anymore. 
Also going on this weekend, Goattoberfest. It's like Oktoberfest with goats. Talking about Kindred Spirits Rescue Ranch in Darlington, Beaver County. They do this great work to save animals. They're going to have a party with food, drink, live music. And yes, you get to pet the goats, the cows, and all the things. Really going to be a fun time. And lastly, next weekend in Evans City and Harmony Butler County, Night of the Living Dead. It's that time of year. They're going to have three of the original cast members, including the young girl. Remember her with the knife? She's going to be there. It's going to be a good time. So those are three things to do for 412s. John and Rach, I just want to say congratulations on the new dig, Sarah. It's very cozy. Not a lot of blank space. Uh, another tear of the swift pond. Look what you made me do. I gotta give you a gift too. So here, well, I'm for your bag. Can I take your pencil? order? You need a tapping? No, we don't use this. We, we know how to yell the sandwich to the, the cook. Here we go. Let's dig in. It's John and Rachel. We love to dig into iconic Pittsburgh places like Permanis. So we brought our friends from People's Gas. Please call at least three business days before you dig. It doesn't matter if it's a big project or something small like a mailbox. Always call before you dig. I called. We can dig in. So please call 811 three business days before excavating so you don't have to call 911. If my younger self could see me doing these things now, I wouldn't believe it. To be a steam fitter, you need to be a problem solver. You can do instrumentation, hydronics, chillers, rigging, HVAC. I have this wonderful opportunity to grow my career. It's not what you are that makes you a steam fitter. It's who you are. Over a hundred years, and we're just getting started. All right, everybody. So, again, the treasure of the podcast has always been we feature local music. As you met Christian and Melinda Calazzi, they are going to sing a song. And Melinda, yes. Christian, who's, what's the name of the song? It's called There You Go. Okay. Well, there you go. There Let's you have go. At Let's it. go. <laughs> Oh, I'll just stand back and watch you leave. 
Let's hear it. Woo! Make sure you get your tickets for Women Who Rock. Everybody, we're down to like 30 seconds, so thank you so much for everybody to come out. Thank you to Rorik Honda. Thank you to uh, thank you to Steel City Media and Greg and the gang here. And thank you to our guests. All of our guests, David Highfield, Greg Brown, Melinda and Christian, all of the sponsors, everybody for coming. It is our very first You Jag Off Late Night in the books, and we are so happy that you're all here. We hope you continue to watch. Woo! And we're out. Don't go, don't go, don't go. Have a great night from You Jag Off Late Night.